I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry. We recorded that earlier I'm on. embarrassed for you, Jack. I, I just, you know, I saw the moment. I just had to take it. Uh, Eric, who is around the venue just recording throughout the weekend, didn't even want it to happen. I just kind of forced it upon him. And I don't think some, anybody wanted that to happen. Something beautiful came upon it, and I think that that was something that definitely will help enhance the grand finals here. If you are just tuning in, it is currently a 2-1 to one series lead for Rise Nation. They... Well, did exactly what we thought they would do in the uplink. They yeah. dominated that one with a final score of about 14 to 2. It is now Breach Capture the Flag, one of the most exciting CTF maps, in my opinion, in Black Ops 3. And off the start, it's pretty similar bands to what we've seen so far, Revan. Shiva followed by High Caliber and Rapid Fire. Yeah, so far throughout this entire series, it's been pretty consistent and common bands that we're used to seeing throughout the entire Cold Duty World League. Here comes Rise. They're going to go in it and take out both Tacticals, the Flashbang, as well as the Concussion. Overclock going to be taken out by Spacely. Anything else you're expecting to be seeing taken out? Maybe uh, something like Camo or Kinetic Armor? Yeah, definitely. There goes Kinetic Armor. Possibly the likes Overdrive, of, I think. Uh, yeah, Overdrive was the one I was going to say next. And th there it is because we've seen what players can get accomplished with that specialist on this map. But Especially Ricky. Yeah, Overclock and Overdrive out. Something that is so popular in CTF because... You know, you get a specialist, it's, an, it's a, a way to potentially get a multi-kill yeah. very quickly, and a multi-kill in CTF equals long death timers for three-plus players, and that is a recipe uh, for disaster for your squad, so they want to take that off the board, make sure that can happen as little as possible. On the two sides, so active camo grabbed by Slack and John. Annihilator in the hands of Spacely. That's, I like that's it. interesting on this map, but definitely uh, I like the decision as well. We'll have to see if it pays off. Classic might go for an Annihilator as well. Yeah, yep. there you go. So camo, Heat Wave, Scythe, Annihilator. Mirror matchup once again between both of these teams. I love the Annihilator in Capture the Flag. Can't wait to see how these guys decide to use it. And I feel like at this point, right, not only do these guys play against each other in the World League, but they scrim often against yeah. each other. They know each other very well. All these guys are friends between the two teams. They know what type of Call of Duty their opponents like to face. They know what type of cool Call of Duty they like to the, uh, kind of play. And you can see through the ban and protect phase, they kind of find that happy medium, right? Mm -hmm. they, they find, you know, we like playing this sort of thing, which from Rise, it's getting out the tactiles. Like, okay, well, then we'll we'll limit some of the kind of specialists you can wind up using. Maybe you're a little bit more comfortable than, it with, with, than we are. And boom, that's how you found these ban and protect so far in this series. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh, something that might have an effect on this game that made it through something like the smoke screen but for the most part nothing too gimmicky or, or cheesy making it through Dude. that banner protect process S smoke screen and camo I, I mean i've seen apathy use it on this map before definitely a pretty lethal combo uh no psychosis this time around which isn't really a surprise for me yeah, that's every fine i mean you have camo and heat wave both yeah, available every, every time uh, psychosis is mentioned it's typically uh, around the, the map breach is typically how it's not a, a specialist not a friendly map for psychosis yeah. and, uh, and and teams know that so they elect not to use it Heading into this one, though, Revan, so far, obviously, CTF and Uplink both only played once per series. Rise up 2-1. to one. Do you think Rise winning this map really just spells disaster for Luminosity yes. and the rest of the best of seven? I do. I think this is kind of like a must-win map for Luminosity Gaming. I, I think Rise, they have a lot of momentum, especially after kind of dominating that Uplink game. Yeah. That uh, if they're able to run away with the CTF, that might be the entire series. Well, there's a look at the squads. Ready in the soundproof booths. Classic. He's pretty. He's looked pretty calm this entire series. Yeah, especially replays. after that 07. Yeah, it, it replays had a lot of hype before game one. Right now, uh, head down, ready to go. You can see, still talking to the squad. I mean, you, have you had the opportunity? Who, who really between these to these two teams that you had the opportunity to face? Saints. Uh, well, I've played against everybody here. Uh, I don't know about that. You're kind of an old man at this point. I've played against everybody in this. Octane lobby. too. Oh, aside from Octane. <laughs> I know Octane's your career better one, than you at this Octane's point. Octane's the running. only one, but. Everybody else I've competed against. Ah, oh, just one more time. I make myself look like the uh, better overall yeah, Call of Duty player. Oh, at the start of this one, though, it's going to be Looney with that submachine gun. No surprises there. His first engagement probably going to happen with John near this uh, kind of mansion side of the map. Yeah, mansion so Looney, lobby. he's actually going to decide to push all the way through, so kind of being uh, a bit of a sneakier player. He's going to find this player over near top AC, but John winds up shutting him down as Classic trying to push through as he might find himself the Luminosity flag. Well, there's nobody here from LG playing defense, so he's going to be able to get away with this. Surprise, yeah, Classic could flag. just waltz under the base like this one. John in charge of getting that mid one cutoff. He will be spotted by Classic. That's probably the best thing that could happen for Classic, and he'll wind up juking his opponent. He's going to continue to run forward with this flag, and already clear out glass. they've got it pushed past that construction room. They got nice. the two kills they need in their base, and now there's just one threat behind them. That's Spacely, and it looks like they have a player in position to get this kill. 
well, 47, 48 seconds in. The cap by Classic. Rise Nation, man. They just cannot be stopped. You know, the really big play kind of happening there is Classic. He's able to spot John coming in along the wall run, and he's able to win that first initial gunfight. That really allowed him to push forward and get closer and closer to the flag peg, and then his teammates get the cutoff. Spacey now trying to overextend as John will get a touch on the flag, trying to get out with this one, but he will be unable to replace now the last remaining player for LG. He's just trying to get some sort of control. And I feel like right now, Rev and LG are currently in, in a similar boat to the likes of kind of CLG, not as bad as CLG had kind of mentioned this weekend, but CLG, they were very critical of their respawn gameplay, right? Perplex was kind of down on himself. He, he's ready He's ready to go, ready to practice the tunnel respawn when he gets home. Right now, Rise Nation just looked like the better respawn team. There was a very real opportunity that, you know, this ends in game six with Rise Nation winning the four respawns of the best of seven and really Luminosity's two maps. They take both search and destroy. That would be pretty frustrating uh, if you're Luminosity, if that's how your kind of grand finals wind up going. Yeah, I think so. But Rise, they, they've had some good search and destroy showings as oh, well. Oh, definitely. I mean, they're going toe to toe with H2K in that previous series. Oh, and, and I, I don't, I don't mean it maybe in that respect, but more that if there are two yeah. maps that you see Luminosity winning, it's this might be another cap by Rise, by the way. Already, everything looking like a cap. It got their top middle covered by Classic, and I'll tell you right now, Revan, this one's gonna go in as yeah. Classic gets both players. They're winning the gunfights they need to. They're getting the flags pulled. They're getting them out of kind of that danger zone in the opponent's face. And that's an HC ready to go for Looney. He's on a three streak. Everyone positive on Rise except for Slack, who's even. Slack, who's even. All signs pointing towards Rise Nation going up 3-1 in the series. You know, the one thing that kind of could kind of seal this game early is if somebody from Rise is able to acquire some sort of score streaks. But it's going to be LG pushing in onto the rise flag. They're able to get a touch, but replay is unable to give the proper support. Both those players fall. As Slack, he's going to choose to pop his camo here, just making those defensive kills happen. Okay, here we go. Now we'll get a touch on this flag, and no score streaks available for Rise aside from the HCXDs. He oh, might be able to get with this flag, but coming right behind him, it's going to be classic. Putting him down some shots. He's able to get right around that corner, but two Rise players in hot pursuit. He's so great. I think he's going to wind up getting this one. And yeah, he nice. does. John gives him the protection he needs. Luminosity put a score on the board. So hey, they're nice. saying, we're not out of this one yet. We, we, That's exactly we know, what they needed. We, we know exactly. What we need to do, we just haven't been able to accomplish it yet this game. They clear out the rise base, and they make the most of the opportunity. Beautiful flag run by Saints, and great coverage by John in the final moments. Yeah, smoke grenades being used here as well. Slack gets the tag up with the Semtex grenade. Will now try to challenge this player as he's just trying to get away. You know, buy time for Saints to push up and give some help. It's going to be Looney now putting pressure onto the flag. As a three go down for Rise, another good opportunity for Luminosity to push up and establish control of the map. I do believe, can you swap over to Saints really quickly? Did he wind up using Heat Wave? Yes, he did. Yeah. So that was actually his Heat Wave in his base. He'll definitely earn that one uh, again in this game, obviously, only three and a half minutes into it. So nothing too big there. Wanted to get the extra help on the base defense. It's basically going to be the first one to push into his Rise Nation base. He checks the wrong corner, and it looks like things will slow down momentarily as there's really only one player pushed up on the map. What do you think is basically using the Man of War here? Normally, he's not really like the assault rifle player for his team. Uh, I mean, it, right now he's oh, struggling, that's huge. and Saints just uh, does that to get himself a Cerberus. He's got a combined nine streak with replays, make it a 10 now as replays finds one more, and they've got Classic, the only player that needs to be cleared out. There it is, and that's unless Slack can somehow sneak past these players on Luminosity, this should be a two to two game, Revan, Revan as they push oh, in the second gonna flag. have a chance here. Oh, nice use of smokes, but. Oh, that gives us a the enemy flag. Okay, wow, I thought yeah, for that a second. Yeah, that flag went in. Yeah, I thought for a second there he got that ridiculous stop, but no. Does not happen. Heat wave being used. That'll be a kill in favor of Octane. He's got a sight, but he definitely should save that for the second half. As it looks like we're gonna be going into halftime in this game, Revan, with a score of two to two. You know, I thought Rise were gonna be able to close this one, this one out very early on. They go up by two flags, and then they just kind of fall apart after that. Luminosity, they're able to chain some kills together thanks to this guy, Saints. I mean, he's fully streaked out right now. That Cerberus is gonna come in handy big time coming into the second half. I mean, every time you swap over to him, Revan, he's winning the gun engagement he's about to be a part of. A two to Stand two up. at the half. The first couple of minutes were all Rise Nation. It looked like they were about to steamroll yeah. Luminosity. And then, you know, Luminosity, I think it's once again, it seems like this, this team sometimes, Revan, just... They flip a switch they and then they to, look like a different team. It's more like they just have to go, guys. We, we know what we need to do. Let's just actually do it. It's what they did before this event. It's how they've gotten themselves to the Grand Finals. And right there, they started back at Stage 1, which is clearing out their base. They pushed the correct lanes. They ran it to the right side. And now they've earned themselves a Cerberus and a tie game. That's going to be the <laughs> the use of uh, base defense there. That's, that's what he's in charge of, that, that little robot back in Luminosity's base. Oh, Classic coming up big at the start of this one as he brings out the Annihilator, Spacely and Replace both flunked that. But here comes a team kill from Looney. 
That's definitely going to hurt this Rise push as they push on towards the Luminosity flag. They're going to find the Cerberus here. EMP. Nice. Good use of EMP. EMP. Luckily, they have these flashes ready. EMP. The Cerberus really gets nothing done. Wow. So, you know, a lot of times players will be like, wow, look, the Cerberus is so strong, man. That new buff just made it so powerful. Yeah, you got three EMP grenades. There goes that score streak. Now the flag being pulled, though, by Luminosity. Not able to get away. And a beautiful ledge boost by Octane to get there before John can. Slack will run this flag. And... Will Octane spots a player going bottom lab? It does appear so, as it's going to be Rise Nation taking back the lead, 3-2. to two. Yeah, big plays come from Rise. Not only do they shut down the servers, but now they're starting to relay some flags. Nobody from Luminosity deciding to rotate back and try to defend this flag. You see Slack, he's already set up. The score streak's being called out. I believe that's a Hellstorm missile used as Luminosity trying to push forward and trying to play for the return. Well, Looney, now... On that wall run, there's two players in his base. Oh, he should be able to slide on in. He does just that, getting past the lightning strike. It does not matter what streaks you use when he says, I will make sure to cap this flag. And again, this is what we saw inside one, where it's yeah. like off the break, rise, just look untouchable, and then Luminosity begin to claw back in. They've got this flag pulled back out. Slack is here, and all that's got to be so frustrating if you're Luminosity to have Slack just waiting for you. Gets the kill and the return. And Rudy's already going to pull this objective back towards bottom lobby. Yeah, it's going to be the Luminosity players spawning up. They are in a position to stop him. Rudy is able to win this gunfight. He does alongside by using the heat wave. As he has his teammates now rotating over, trying to give him some cover. Slack oh, picks cap. up another big kill wow. on the Saints. And yeah, that's looking like another cap from Rise. I mean, well, you know, these guys, now they flip a switch, looking very similar to how they were on the, the first half in the beginning stages of that. They go up by three flags. A cap every 40 seconds right there for the first... <laughs> Uh, two minutes of side two, making it look easy. They ran it, well, they ran what, one or one or two through top construction and then one through bottom lobby. The confidence of Looney there to know, hey, Octane, not only do you have our base covered, but I don't have to worry about top middle because my teammates spawning up will cover that area. Mm -hmm. And then to know I'm going to use my heat wave to win the one gun engagement I have to worry about. All thought out things on that flag run, and it pays off Saints having to clear out his base. And even that little distraction by Octane, Kind of gives Luminosity less pressure on the map, gives them less of an opportunity to score, and creates more one on one engagements back and rises base as they can continue to trade out. With the camo, John is unable to finish the kill on the Octane. He was already weak from his previous engagement. Big defensive kills coming out of the players from Rise, and look at the spawns, man. They're spawning nearly right on top of their flag packs. Basically, can't get away with that flag, but replaces here to kind of keep this push going. Trying to clean up this column, this defending player from Rise. No. He's unable to do so. Nothing going in the way of Luminosity for now. Only two yeah, minutes yeah, remaining, flag. they need to cap three flags. We saw Rise Nation do it at the beginning of this second side. Can Luminosity match it? It doesn't appear so as of yet. Octane's got the flag pulled. He's got slack there as a lead blocker to cover his top middle. He's going to get this one past construction. They just need to clear out the two opposing players in their base. It doesn't appear John's been spotted as of yet. And he begins to push on up. He's ready for Octane. He'll get the kill and the return. And the flag has been pulled. A minute and a half remaining. This is still possible. Great camo use by Slack. But replays reads it like a book with the help of John. And now that objective will be run. This will be a cap. And you'll see all the three arrows of Luminosity just push up. They know they need to get this rally going. Yeah, they can't really afford to rotate back and make sure that their base is clear, which is usually what you do in capture the flag. But since they're still down by two flags, they need to keep the aggression, keep the pressure up on the Rise flag. And you see the Rise players, well, uh, the one thing they want to do here is make sure that they have control over their side of the map. Replays plays this one slowly, momentarily. He's got himself the scythe ready to go. Saints watching over that second hard point. It looks like LG are going for a coordinated push, and he actually shoots his team in the back with the help of Octane, and that's going to be three dead for LG. Spacely last alive, and uh, once he dies here, this is going to do it, folks, and there it is. Luminosity will fall in the CTF. Rise Nation now 3-0 and this series in respawn game modes. Luminosity find themselves one map away from getting eliminated, finishing second here at UMG South Carolina, and potentially crowning Rise Nation the champions of this. What a weird capture of the flag game. I yeah. mean, Rise, they start the first side out, they, they capture two flags, Luminosity, they answer right back, they get a Cerberus, they get full streaks, unable to hold on to their base as Rise, they keep the aggression up once again, and they will capture the ninth flag of the game, six for them. You gotta give up to Lumi, man. The guy has captured three flags in this game. That's as much as the entire Lumi Luminosity squad combined. Making it look easy, Rise Nation continue to cruise in the respawn game modes. That's been a theme so far this weekend. Yeah. Your final kill cam coming out of Slack as he floods towards top middle. I mean, Revan, my biggest thing now is obviously Luminosity. They have to win three straight maps. 
Yes, there's an S and D, oh, but there's also a hard point great. right after. Yeah. <laughs> tall battle, tall hill to climb if they want to come back in this series. Personally, even though Luminosity is so strong in Search and Destroy, I think the momentum is too good right now. Rise Nation are playing on top of their game. They've got great teamwork. I think they actually close the series out 4-1 to one in this next game. I think the one thing that's really working in Rise's favor is the way they're kind of working together. I mean, every time they push that flag forward and capture a flag, they had a teammate pushed up on the cut. They pushed out the cuts as well, and the flag carrier, you know, he felt so sight, yeah. so safe. I mean, he really didn't have to worry about winning any gunfights. I mean, I, I'm trying to think of any occasion where I actually saw the flag carrier get in a gun engagement, as you just mentioned. Looney with the heat wave towards bottom lobby, and that's honestly, that's it. Right? Uh, that, that, that maybe I one of. other, like, yeah, maybe on their very first one flag or two run. more, but that's a statement right there that they had their base so clear that they had all the cuts watched. Great use of knowing, you know, where the opponents would spawn up at. Even a small little play like that by Octane has got to be so frustrating for Luminosity. As we continue to roll through the highlights, yes, that was a great play by John, even on the uh, kind of camo flag pl uh, player here, but it just wasn't enough. And in the end, Rise capped that final flag to make it 6-3 to three to really put the dagger into Luminosity, and now Luminosity are one map away from losing this tournament. It is going to be Search and Destroy. I believe the map is it's going gonna be to be hunted. hunted. My first time casting this weekend. Yeah, I mean, we, we have casted a couple, a little bit in the Call of Duty World League. Yep. This is certainly a, an interesting Search and Destroy map. Definitely the one that's probably practiced the least by these teams. And I've actually seen both of these squads play on this map. It's, yeah. it's actually kind of funny how I don't have too many memories of Hunted Search and Destroy, but the ones I do have are on uh, are, okay. are of these two teams. And one is Octane on Rise is given a lot of kind of pressure on this map. They put him in an area by himself and say at the B bomb site? Yeah, and they they say <laughs> hold it. This is your site. Win you cover every, it. everything that happens. Whatever they throw at you, just deal with it. And the rest of the team runs around. With some, and they just run around the map. So what are you expecting from the side of Luminosity then? How are they going to find a way to maybe 